Breaking news. The former Miami-Dade school vice chair arrested today. Libby Navarro accused of stealing money from schools for personal expenses. Local 10 News reporter Hatzovella live outside the jail in West Miami-Dade. He tells us what charges Navarro is now facing. So I should tell you the former school board member now in jail. In fact, let's go to some video now where we see her coming here, arriving here at TGK. This is, uh, we're being told that she was picked up this morning. Question brought here to the jail, booked at around 1030 this morning and just released uh, a few minutes ago. Here is the mugshot of the 49 year old Navarro, as you may know, is a well known uh, local politician, especially in conservative circles. But now she is facing some serious charges. Here's a list of what she's facing at this point. Organized fraud, $50,000 or more grand theft, third degree organized fraud and grand theft to the second degree. Sources telling Local 10 that the charges stem from mismanagement of school district funds for personal use. Let's give you some background here. Navarro, you may remember, left her post as school board member in December of 2022 after a new state law went into effect that bans politicians from being lobbyists. Navarro is a registered lobbyist for the South Broward Hospital District, which she was director of government affairs for the Memorial Healthcare System. Navarro was selected as vice chair of the school board in 2022, was first appointed in 2015 by then Governor Rick Scott. We reached out, of course, to the school district to try to get a sense of what they're saying. Here is a statement from the school district. They're telling us at this point, Miami-Dade County Public Schools has been made aware of the recent arrest of former school board member Luby Navarro. As this remains an active, open matter, we will not be commenting on the situation. We will fully cooperate, they go on to say, with law enforcement agencies as necessary. We should tell you, back out live, Navarro is expected to go before a bond court judge sometime this afternoon. In fact, the state attorney's office is going to be holding a press conference at 2.30 this afternoon. Local 10 will have it. We'll stream it live on local10.com. For now, reporting live from West Miami-Dade, I'm Hatsapala, Local 10 News.